Happy Holidays! My name is Michael Pickett and I'm here to show you how to do a painting of Scrooge in acrylic. I hope you like the show. Uh, like my shirt says, Bah Humbug. And of course, Scrooge says that all the time. here at my studio and we finished the drawing of Scrooge. Now we'll take our burnt sienna and a lot of water and our number 10 brush and we'll cover that whole canvas. Now we'll take our sock and we'll wipe away the paint, leaving the pencil show through. Okay, we'll start out with the eyes first. We're going to do a black line on top of the eye. And then we're going to fill in the pupil. Now we're going to add some blue into the iris. Now we're going to blend it all together. And we'll take our black and we'll kind of freshen up the pupil. We'll take some white on each side of the eye and kind of mix some blue in with it lighter blue on the bottom part of the eye and we're going to do some blending as we go. There we go. Now we'll just add a little more light on the bottom of the iris and then we'll add some more black for the pupil. A little more white on the side of the eye and two dots for reflected light. Now we'll do the other eye pretty much the same way. We'll take our black and we'll outline the eye. 
put in the pupil. I take the blue and put in the iris. Add a little more light on the side of the eye. And put in the dot, and there we go. Now we'll work on the undercoat of the face. I'm going to take some burnt sienna, and then we're going to frame around his eye. And then we're going to fill in the dark areas and the shadowed areas on his face. And we'll go to the other eye and we'll fill in some shadows alongside of his nose. Shadow around his nose and under his nose and to bring out some highlights to make his nose look round. And then we'll add some more black for the pupil. We'll add a little burnt sienna on the ear, then we'll take that white and we'll blend it in. And now we'll get our number two brush with white and burnt sienna. We're going to fill in the areas that we haven't painted. It's going to brighten it up some. We're going to blend as we go. We're going to make the skin look soft. Add the burnt sienna and white together, which will create a really nice skin tone. And we blend it in with the undercoat that we added before, and it comes out real nice and soft. We'll add some more white under the chin. We'll add some more burnt sienna under the nose to shadow it. And now we'll work on our whiskers. We we'll just take some burnt umber on our number two brush. We dab it on the side up and down, which will create kind of a, a rough, hairy like look. It gives it a nice texture. Well, that's how you create whiskers. Now we'll go up towards the eye with our number zero brush and we'll shadow alongside the eye and then alongside the nose. We'll take some white and we'll add little highlights here and there where there's light reflecting on the skin to make it round. Add some on the nose and some on the cheeks and some on the folds.
Add a little bit of white alongside the eyes to bring out some of those wrinkles. And now we'll take our, our number two brush with some burnt sienna. We'll just shadow it in. Now we've got our number zero brush with a little bit of burnt sienna and we're just gonna highlight here and there. Now we're gonna use our black. We have our number two brush. We're gonna fill in the hat and we're gonna fill in the coat. And once we got the basic black in there, we're going to add some white. We're going to do some reflections of light onto the black to bring the hat out a little bit more. We're going to add some white along the rim of the hat. A shadow on both sides, we're going to make that hat look round. Now we're going to work on his collar using black and our number two brush. We get that filled in on that side. And then we'll go over to the other side and we'll fill that in. Okay, now we're going to do the pattern on his vest. Now we're going to take and paint in his vest. We're going to add some white with our black to create a gray. We're just going to fill that in using our number two brush. We're going to get our zero brush with some white and then we're going to make the pattern. I'm going to paint some stripes from top to bottom. Now we're going to paint some lines from left to right and that's going to fill that in. It's going to create a checkerboard type pattern. Doesn't that look cool? Now we'll just fill in the coat using our black. Get that all filled in.
Now we'll work on the collar. We'll just get our number zero brush and we're adding our blue and our white together, putting in all the shadows. So we get that all filled in. Now we'll take some white on the zero brush and we'll fill in the collar. Now we'll add just a little blue in with our white underneath the collar where it's shadowed. It won't be quite as white as the top of the collar where the light is shining on it. Now we'll go over to the side and work on his collar. Adding some white and we're blending it in with the blue. See how that makes that look round? You do a lot of blending. You're blending the white into the blue. We add some more white, fill in around the tie, you see where your shadows are. You get some more white, and it outline the edge of the collar. You're going to take a little more black and with your white and create a gray and do some highlights along his collar on his coat. Now to create the illusion of a pattern on his coat we'll use a fan brush, black and white. Well now you want to get your number two brush and some black. You want to paint in the bow tie. Start up with the top, the collar, and then paint over to the side. And you want to fill in the bow tie. Now you want to move up to the hat and you want to add highlights. A little bit of white towards the center with the black, create kind of a dark gray. And then you want to add a little bit of white for the reflection of light on the bow tie. It's looking pretty good. 
You want to outline the collar with some black. You want to outline the other collar with some more black in the top part of the collar. Kind of makes the uh, collar sit down onto the coat. Now you want to, to go over and detail some more of the pattern that's on the jacket itself using a little bit of black and just going up and down. See how that works? creates a pretty nice little pattern. And we'll take some more white, we'll detail the collar, at the end of his sleeve we'll add some more light for his shirt. Do a little bit of detail here and there. Just going to put it together to where it looks good. Now we're going to paint the hands. Put in your knuckles and then you add your light colors first and then you blend it in. Then you take some burnt sienna and then you do your shadows. There we go. The hands are almost done. Well, we're going to add some more highlight to the knuckle area and around the fingers. We're going to blend it in. Now we're going to put in the thumbnails. There we go. have some more light reflection, highlighting it with our white and burnt sienna. Now we're going to do our background. We're going to use our number 10 brush. We're going to mix uh, burnt sienna and white together. Mix it in really good. Paint in the background all one color. Get the background all painted in. Using our number 10 brush. There we go. Now we're going to fill in the whiskers on the side of his face. The edges that we had covered up from putting in the background, we'll go ahead and put back. We'll just re-add the whiskers on the side of his face with burnt umber and we're using our number zero brush. Now we'll fill in the edge of his coat using black 
and your number zero brush. Fill it in there. This will fill in the areas that we covered with some of our background. We'll just fill it in over the top of the background. Do a little bit of detail into the face and whiskers. Add some more light on the ear and shadowing around the ear. A little more alongside the face. Now we're going to get some black in our zero brush and we're going to detail the edges We're going to fill in the area of the hat where we covered up with some of our background. I'm going to re add that in there. Work on the hat on the edges, darkening it some more. There we go. There. Now all we have to do is sign our painting. We just paint the edges of our painting so you can hang it up on the wall without a frame. There he is. There's Scrooge. Ah, oh, humbug. Yeah, he says that all the time. Well, we're back. Now that's how to do a painting of Scrooge. And I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.